Oh, boy. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Why? What does she want to see me for? I don't know. I'm You'll just Commander Shepard. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. All right, I guess I'm on my way. You know, is this guy, he's okay, he's doing nothing, that guy. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Darn, sure, I guess. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Hey, don't worry. Sometimes it's your first time. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I don't. Ne no, never mind. Never mind. Let's go see this consort woman. As the door glitches me out there for a second. That is close enough, Commander. Oh I've my heard bad. A great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. You checking up on me? I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Yo, tell me about it. What's up, girl? Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. You guys fought. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den. Ow, I scratch my nose. That hurts. Spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What went wrong? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay, I mean, I'll what go see. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to Is she rubbing up on me? What the me, fuck is this? Very grateful. That was really awkward and weird. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. She like just rubs up on me and just says that and it's like I I don't know if you want to what are you doing? Please. Oh, wrong button. Shit. I keep trying to hit space to sprint because I'm so used to seeing that in the other games and other every game I play. Is, actually never mind. Every other game I play is generally shift to sprint. What the fuck am I talking about? I don't know, for some reason I feel like Mass Effect it would be normal for space to be sprint for whatever fucking reason. Or maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm literally an idiot. I don't fucking know. Alright, so he's now at the wards, but I don't think I have the wards unlocked for uh Citadel Rapid Transport. So I think I gotta I think I gotta go this way and then down. Yeah, over there. I gotta go this way for the wards, which I hope my support has one of those because you know I don't want to get ganked if we push up too far. That's a League reference. I play League of Legends. Am I cool now? Ladies, will you date me now? But I play League. I'm joking. League's actually you know you don't get girls unless you're like high. Elo. You gotta go up to a girl and be like, Hey, yo, girl. I'm Diamond 3. And I'll instantly suck your dick. Because that's how that goes. Or you gotta be like, Hey, girl. Let me spit some game on ya. I'm Challenger. And they'd be like, So, my place? I mean, I wouldn't know if that's actually true or not. Because, you know, I... C Fuck. Never mind, I actually gotta go to the council first. This game has mis mis misalude me. It misled me. It's I'm stuck on a fucking wall, apparently. Alright, Shepard. I forgot you can't walk. Alright. So this way I think to the fucking Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. What do you guys say about this, Ashley? This place is a little too okay, same same lines. Nothing too nothing too bad. Okay, so I think they're just gonna reuse the same lines now if I ask them. So fucking there goes that com comedic value. <laughs> I wanna die. What are these guys talking about? Absolutely nothing. My game keeps glitching out camera wise whenever I run. It's fucking annoying. Like, it's actually upsetting me, because it's weird. Like, I'll run, and then I'll hit, like, a ledge, and it's, like, camera glitch, and it's like, oh, all right, I mean, that's happening now. Like, ew, like, when I go up shit, it just glitches out. I'm sorry for anyone who's watching this, and they have, like, motion sickness or some shit like that. Like, that's not my fault. This game, this game is old. It, it doesn't, 
necessarily age too well, like camera wise and combat wise. Like it, it's a very clunky game. But if you can get past the clunkiness, it's a really fun, beautiful game to play. And I wouldn't say it's necessary to play the first game, but playing the first game helps you out story wise because then all your choices go into the second game and to the third game. But if you don't want to play the first game, you can get the comic book, which kind of fucking you pick the choices. But again, if you do that, though, there are some choices in the game which uh, just happen from playing it. If you play it a certain way, which carries over into the new game, into Mass Effect 2 and 3, which doesn't have the comic book help out at all. And where the fuck is this tower that's over there? But, uh, yeah. I definitely think people should play this game. I'm playing it again. I think I, I, I think I said it in the first video or whatever, but I'm playing this game specifically because Andromeda was announced. Well, I mean, it was announced fucking, I think, a year ago or some shit like that. But it was officially announced for a release date during E3, I believe. March 31st. So. Okay, Caden, that was weird. Maybe he, I mean, he's also surprised March 31st. He's like, oh shit, a new Mass Effect game. Am I going to be in it? Well, Caden, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, let's go up here. Alright, so here's the awkward elevator where no one says anything, apparently. They got nice music, I guess. It's it's a weird. The music's a little weird, but it's it's whatever. It's music. Council isn't gonna ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. No, we don't, sir. <laughs> the elevator is really weird. It glitches out your fucking shadows. It's really weird the way it glitches out your shadows. Like, look at this. Ew. Ew. Looks like we're traveling super fast. Ah, yes, I love how awkward elevators can be in this game. So you just kind of stand there, and it's like, is someone going to say something? Should I say something? I don't know. Is that, is that Garrus Vicarian over there? Is that my main man? Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Oh. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Thank you, Garrus. And Carr. Specifically, the car. This place has a nice layout, I guess. I mean, it's not bad. It's not a bad layout. It's pretty up here. Very political looking, though. Know? Like, it, this is something you, you, you definitely see, and you're like, alright, well, this is where politics goes down. This is Politech. Is he dead? I think he's sleeping. Poor little insect guy. He's got a little tired. The hearing's already started. Come on. My bad, I was late. I was checking out this the Citadel and then seeing that it was a Citadel. The Geth attack is a matter of I some guess. concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. That is we true. We read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Ooh. Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. Oh, shots fired. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. That's me. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. How did you get involved? The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what Lots can you expect fault. from a human? What the fuck? What the, f what the fuck? That's pretty racist. Saren despises humanity. 
That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Sector. Excuse me, have you seen my There's hair? There's no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has yeah, no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Oh. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? What's the point? Uh... You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has Looks found like no they made their decision any again. connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Fuck you, Saren. This meeting is adjourned. Well, today's a huge loss. I... I feel defeated. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Sarah. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. I mean, the Council won't help us. They, they're too fucking... Yeah. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. We should talk to him indeed. Any idea where we could find him? Probably CSEC. I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's oh, shit. probably getting drunk at Cora's den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. I should go. I Good should luck, go. Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. So we got Barlavon, we got Garus. All right, we're lit. There's a guy over there doing whatever the fuck he's doing. What are you doing to that, that keeper? To something. What are you doing to him? What? Fucking weirdo. Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um. Yes. Is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers. I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. Oh shit. Oh, yeah. Ash doesn't take shit from new aliens. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Is it Why were you being so secretive about it though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Hey, let me help. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. 
<laughs> I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Alright, so now we're doing illegal shit. Now we're doing illegal scanning of keepers. I think there's one over here too. I've never actually done this, this uh, side quest 100% before. Like, they're, they're just scattered all over the place. But the extra credits are nice. Even though it's like 30, 30 per credit. How many keepers are there to do? Uh, journal. Scan the keepers. 21. Alright. Well, that's my favorite number. But I don't know if that's how many I want to fucking scan for reals. Because that's a lot of keepers, and I don't think you guys want to watch me scan keepers all day.